welcome back to the channel. So today, as you guys seen in the title, we will be going over, or rather discussing or chatting about um, plus size women and some of the challenges that we face, um, what people think about us, what we think about ourselves, issues we have with fashion, and just other different topics as well. Um, so I'm not going to hold the chat up any longer. Let's get in to it, to it, to it. So let's get into this video, okay? So we're going to go over three subjects tonight. I actually got a lot of feedback on this one, so kudos to you guys. Um, but the three topics I decided um, was one, body odor. Um, the second one is self-esteem, self-esteem, I'm sorry, and like rejection and how that ties into it, um, as well as like body image. Um, and that leads into kind of the last one, which is like fashion and the clothes that are out there for us. So, to dive right into the first subject, which is going to be body odor. Um, now, I'm not saying people don't stink, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying folks ain't out there funky and stinky, smelling like boiled hot dog water and old carpet. I'm not saying that. I know that it is. But not every plus size person is stinky. Okay? I've had some questions asked to me as far as like, how do I deal with my body? I can't say body odor because I don't stink. So my body. Um, I mean, I know when I wear like dresses and skirts, I know some women put deodorant on the inside of their thighs or like down here to keep like the rubbing and the chafing. I don't do that. I just do cornstarch because it's pure, it's natural, it don't break out my skin. Because, you know, I'm big. You know, my thighs, you know, they have a tendency to rub and all that good jazz. Um, but as far as body odor, that is a misconception. Uh, not all of us are big and stinky, okay? We know how to wash our crevices. Now, granted, I may take a little bit longer in the shower than you. Because, you know, I got you know, to get up under my back fat and my back titties. That don't mean that I'm funky, though. That don't mean that I'm stinky. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've met some some, some 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 slender people. I'm stuttering. Some slender people that are, have been musky. Not musty. Musky. In the middle of winter. So, yeah. So, not all big folks are stinky. Um, I was just joking. You know, just you know, trying to make you guys laugh. But, honestly, not, not everybody is stinky. If, I mean, it's just personal hygiene and diet. If you take care of yourself, uh, you know, flush your system, drink you some water, you should be good to go. If not, you should go see your doctor to see what's going on with your insides while they leaking on the outside. Yeah. The second topic is going to be self-esteem and rejection. Now... Honestly, since I have begun, or I should say launch rather, my YouTube channel, um, and a lot more people are actually following me, um, I have a lot more people that, that would have not normally like followed me, kind of reach out to me and like inbox me or start following me now and just asking things of me um, as far as like, you know, how do I get so confident, X, Y, Z, whatever the case may be. And it, honestly, guys, it all starts with and me and my one of my closest friends. She and I, we talk about this all the time. Self-esteem goes into knowing who you are as a person. When you know who you are as a person, right or wrong, good or bad, can't nobody take that from you. You got to know who you are as a person. Because can't nobody peck at what ain't there. If that makes sense to you all. Like if I know who I am as a woman and as a person, you can't come at me talking about, oh, look at you when you fat and you got back titties. And I'd be like, and with a two-piece on, on the beach, eating a double cheeseburger, like, can I get extra bacon? You got a side of ranch I could dip my burger in. What a word. You got steak fries? Let me get some of them too. Can I get a Fanta orange with extra ice, please? Like, that's me, though. I know who I am. I embrace who I am. I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm happy in my skin. 
I said this on a previous chat with me session that I had did. When I got down to the size I actually wanted to be, and on the outside I was like, damn, blah, 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 she's, she's fine, like, dang, girl. I was so uncomfortable with me. I was not happy with me because I did not know who I was. Everybody is not made to be small, y'all. Some of us are. Some of us are made to be slender. Some of us are slim thick. Some of us are, are slender women. We don't have chest. We don't really got no hips. Got a little bit of booty. Some of us got legs for days. Some of us don't. Some of us are built different. You have to know, as a plus-size woman, you got to be sure that you're sure that you know that you know that you know that you're comfortable within yourself. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to be comfortable with. So can't nobody shame you. Can't nobody make you feel any type of way. Because you know who you are as a person. I know who I am as a person. I know that I got short hair. Okay. I know that it is very thin. And if any type of um, conditioner or like not even conditioner. Any type of product hits it. It shrinks up like a jerry curl. It's like. Uh, what is that movie? Coming to America. It's Jerry Curl Juice, everyone. But I know that's me. I know that's how I am. I, that's because I know me. So can't nobody tell me about Sheena because Sheena already knows about Sheena. That ties into my self-esteem. Yes, people do say things to hurt me. Yes, people do say things to bother me. But I can't let what they say affect me because at the end of the day, I have to be grounded in my foundation. And your foundation is knowing who you are. Knowing who you are as a person, knowing who you are as a woman, standing in that and being confident and being strong in it. Does that mean you got to run down the street with some assless chaps on at 2 o'clock traffic? No, that's not what I'm saying. But when you're shopping, if you want to get into color, dabble in a little color. You see what I got on tonight and I don't care. Actually, this is this is supposed to be a dress, y'all. It's supposed to be a dress. I wore it because it said the house is a dress. If I leave the house, this thing is going to turn into a crop top. Do you hear me? A crop top. But I dabble in color, and I want to get to express that, and I want to get to know that. So that's something that you should be confident within your self-esteem. I actually, to start building my own self-esteem, what I had done like a while ago, and actually nobody knows this, so you guys are honestly the first people to know this. Not even my best friend knows this. And I lived with her for a long time. Her and I used to live together for a long time. I had a notebook. Very small notebook. And I used to keep it in my purse. And every week, I would write down three things. Even if they were repetitive, I would write down three things that made me great. That made me me. That made me comfortable with being me. Made me happy with being me. I did that for me. And it built my confidence. It built my self-esteem. I got to know the inner me. Another thing I honestly did also, guys, I prayed about it. A lot of us, you know, I'm not saying whatever religion you decide to practice, I respect it all. But sometimes you have to pray to God and ask God to show you when he looks at you, who does he see? Who does he see when he looks at you? And ask him to show you that person. And show you how to get in contact with that person. Because it's greatness in all of us. But sometimes when we look at these other images and these people getting their body and their work done, then we feel like, oh, I have to look like this or I have to look like this. I don't know if you guys have noticed it lately. And I really didn't notice it until I was hanging with my best friend and her sister. But she pointed out, she was like, these women, now when they're making them nowadays, like when they're getting these surgeries, they're borderlining on plus size women. For example, Portia Williams. I think she is bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm this is no shade, no nothing. But if you look at her, she's bordering on plus size. Kim K bordering on plus. These are these women, not necessarily Kim K, but it's a lot of women out there that are getting work done that is like pushing toward plus size. These thighs are getting bigger, y'all. These hips are getting bigger. These booties already been bubblegum. But I guess we started talking about their booty so much they was like, let me go on ahead and get, let me get that uh, three for one special. Let me get them breast and uh, uh, let me get some of them hips and some of them thighs. Throw that in there too. Baby, you got what they paying somebody to install in them. 
Let me say it again just in case you didn't hear it. You got what celebrities and other people are paying to get. Whether you got big breasts, whether you got long legs and nice calves, you got what they paying people to inject in their bodies. Take that how you want to. Do what you want to do with it. But I'm just letting you know. Baby, you already banking. You already sharp. You already cute. Don't let nobody tell you not different. I mean, don't let that sway you. And guess what? With rejection, look, let me tell you something. I've shot my shot at a number of dudes. Don't get it twisted. I have. She shoots her shot. Shoots her shot. And I've been rejected. A lot. <laughs> More than I care to admit. But that's okay. That's a part of it. I'm not for everybody. And that's the beauty of it all. That's what makes us all beautiful. That's what makes us all different. You ain't going to be for everybody. God took his time when he made you. He made you specifically for one person. Not for the masses, but for one person. Even the people that are wanted by everybody still get talked about. Kim Kardashian, if you want to use her. Um, what's that girl name? Look like a dirty tennis ball. Amber Rose. I mean, Kelly uh, Price, for I almost said Carson. Kelly Price, for example, lost all their weight. They still dragging Kelly. They talking about Jill Scott now. They only talking about her because they said she give good head. Now everybody want a big girl. First off, there's a lot of big girls out there I know that don't do that. So that's a subject for another day. But I'm just saying, guys, you got to know who you are. Find who you are. Be centered in that and be cool with it. Be cool with it. Build yourself up every day. I have a mirror by my front door. And it is full. And I posted a picture of it on my Instagram page. It's full of everything that I know that's, that's me. That makes Sheena, Sheena. In my mirror, in my vanity area, in my bathroom, I have, you're the shit. I have to remind myself sometimes, because I get down on myself, that I'm the shit. I went out with my best friend and her sister. And I was walking up to the door. They had already went in before me. My best friend had came back out. And I was walking up to the door. And the security guard that came out down to, you know, look at my purse, kind of pat me down. He was like, hey, bruh, talking to God to take the money. He was like, what about her? And started laughing. The guy leans back. Now, mind you, he's handsome. He's, I'm not going to dub him and say he was ugly or nothing like that. He was handsome. He was cute. He leans back and says, I don't know. Maybe after about six Coronas. You know, she may be something I want to see what's up with. And I was like, ha, ha, wait a minute. <laughs> Who the hell he talking to? <laughs> and this is what's going on in my head. It was like, bitch, bitch. Hey, bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Did you hear this nigga? He told me. Well, told, he looked me dead in my eyes and my face. And said after about six Coronas, he would see what was up with me. That's what he told the bouncer. And I looked him back dead in his face at 5-2 and said, Hey, how about after no Coronas? Because you ain't my speed and you ain't my type. Guess what? The fat friend don't want you. You? Who told you I would want you? I wouldn't even pay you on a good day to get with me or sleep with me. You couldn't even stand outside my bedroom window while I pleasure myself. I wouldn't even let you stand outside the door to smell my house. When they get beside themselves, ladies, I'm an outspoken person. So I care nothing about, you know, telling you about yourself and, and moving along my day. If you are at that outspoken, that's fine too because we're all beautiful. We're all different. Ignore them. Keep it moving. Don't let nobody make you feel no type of way. And after he said that, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You couldn't pay me. And then guess what? When I was leaving, he tried to talk to me. I literally seen him all night, y'all. Every time I turned around, 
He was like, like, I'm here. He's back there. I was like, you fucking kidding me? You mean to tell me you really wanted the big girl? But you fucked yourself and talked yourself out of it? Bumping your guns? You're not my speed. You're not my type anyway, love. Take care. God bless. Ladies, don't let these niggas make you feel no type of way. Don't let these women make you feel. Men, don't let these guys. I mean, these guys. Don't let Don't let anybody make you feel any type of way. Y'all know what I'm trying to get at. I'm mixing my words up. Don't let people make you feel any type of way. Oh, the last subject that we will discuss will be fashion. Um, and like body image. So, with fashion as far as with body image it can be a bit difficult shopping plus size um especially if you don't want to look cheesy <laughs> so to speak um one of the main things is that you have to know your body type and your body size like there are some things that i see that i already know they not gonna look good on the kid i mean ain't nobody gotta tell me Ain't nobody got to be like, hey, try it on and just see. I can look at it and tell and be like, nah. The way my body is set up and built, it ain't, it ain't going to fit. It's going to fit. It just ain't going to look good. So you got to know your body image, ladies. Your body, You got to know your body type. I'm sorry. You got to know your body type. We're all, again, beautiful. We're all shaped differently as plus-size women. That's what makes us plus-size women. We're all different. Some of us got... Big bodies and little arms and little legs. Some of us are vice versa. Whatever it is, you got to know your body. So know your body type. What I did, and I'm not going to lie to you, I researched what works for my body type. I went to JCPenney's. I got my bra size. I got so I can have the correct size. I went and actually, I measured myself so I can have the correct measurements. I actually did my research on different fabrics to see what does and what does stretch, what doesn't stretch, what does work on my body, what doesn't work, on, what does and doesn't work on my body. I looked into that, and if I purchased something that I really liked and it didn't necessarily fit, I looked into how can I kind of alternate it a bit. Like for example, dresses and skirts that have splits in the back, I don't care where the split is. With me, when I walk, because I am bottom, extremely bottom heavy, it's going to ride. The more that split rides, the more you will see the bottom cutlet of my butt. So what I do, I just turn them to the side, and I make it a side split, or I make it a front side split. I make it work for me. So you got to know your body type, as well as also getting into fashion. Now, the misconception is, don't get me wrong, I love black. So many black items that I have in my closet. Don't get it twisted. But if you want to dab in a color, see what color works good on your skin. Go into the store, try some things on. The the hard part is is that when you purchase items that are plus size, sometimes they can be more expensive. Like I went on this small little boutique's website just today, actually, going to get clothes. I wanted to support her, buy some items from her site. But I noticed that everything I was about to buy that was plus size was an additional five to ten dollars, and I'm like, damn, like that kind of short is what I wanted to do, girl. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, get the items, do a haul, do a review. That shortens it. But with fashion, don't be scared to get in the color. Don't be scared to get in the fat um, to different sizes and just try them out and see, see what works for you. Um, if you find a vendor and the clothes work for you, stick with that vendor. Look at other vendors that may be partnership vendors with it. Because sometimes it's difficult for vendors because um, they will charge them more or they will have they won't have the item in plus size. Um, so that's why I'm just with fashion. I, I guess because I'm more open, especially like with smaller boutiques and everything outside of Fashion Nova I'm, over, I'm open for. Because honestly, y'all, I'm so tired of Fashion Nova. It's not the only place that make clothes. So... Try other boutiques. We've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys really like our chat sessions together. I know I definitely do. Coming up with like different topics and chatting with them about it with you guys. I've been getting some good feedback. So I'll keep the chat sessions going every other Thursday. 
Um, I will link my information down below, like my Facebook as well as my Instagram information, so that if you have topics that come up and you want me to chat or discuss them, then I will go over them. As long as they're clean, okay, guys? Because some of y'all are kind of out there, and I got to pull you back. Pull your back seat. Okay, I got y'all kind of out there a little bit sometimes. <laughs> but it's all in good fun. Um, I will post below, well not below, but um, yeah, in the description box, my last video that I did, my last chat session with like dating here in Atlanta, the things I come across, what I do and don't like, my hiccups, hangups, whatever it is. Um, so guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on my Instagram and Facebook so that we can keep in touch. And until next time, Sheen Nation.